Well, hey there, trainers. Welcome back. You're with Pewter City Gym. I'm going to go ahead and carry on with our playthrough of Pokemon and Neil for Fan Game Friday. How y'all doing? I hope you had a fantastic week. You're gearing up for a great weekend. Ooh, hey, check it out. We can see like a starry sky outside. That's kind of cool. Um, so we're about to run the, the gauntlet of Rocket Guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the team. Custard is down. I repeat, Custard is down. Let's go ahead and make sure that we, uh, that we revive Custard because Custard is one of our MVPs. Super Potion, I only got one. Custard gets it. You've used the last Super Potion. Everybody's level 41 or 42, so we are pretty much ready to go. You should have more respect for this place rather than running around all over the place. Wow, buddy. Read the... Ooh, hey, look at the battle background. Um, Read the room. Oh my gosh, he's got a gulp in. Psyduck, I think, is going to make short work of that with a Psy Beam. Ooh, critical hit. Super effective. Golbat. Okay, that works. Leech Life, I don't think that's going to do a lot. I wonder if we're going to get the Confusion on these guys at any point. Acrobatics. Ooh, that actually did quite a bit. Ugh. <sighs> Starting to wonder if we shouldn't evolve our poor, uh, our poor little Psyduck. Gulpin. Um, no, we'll stay in. I think if we get off one side beam, we're good. All right, we beat this guy. Complaining about our lack of respect. My goodness. Uh, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and move you. We'll put up lemon. Lemon will be able to take on these Team Rocket guys. Mr. Fuji is resisting, but we'll make him talk. Gee whiz. Oh, Rattata. Uh, dis discharge? Yeah, I think that'll work. Okie dokie. Young Goose. I actually really like Young Goose's design. Like, it's not my favorite design in the world, but I, I think it is pretty cute. It's got some of the stuff that I love about Furret, but with those big goofy teeth. Uh, Raticate. No, we'll stay in. I wonder if Grass Knot will do a good job against Raticate. Raticate's kind of heavy, right? Ooh. Ooh. Not that heavy. And they got the crit, so. Discharge. Okay. We beat Rocket Grunt Kuma. Why do you put up so much resistance? Mr. Fuji. Have you, have you come to rescue me? I came to Pokemon Tower to leave some flowers like every morning when Team Rocket kidnapped me. They're holding me here and causing irreparable damage to the Pokemon. Please, we have to kick them out no matter what. Ahem. <clears throat> Ooh. Who is that? What a solemn place. One trembles surrounded by so many Pokemon tombs. Hello, Squirt. You're facing the dreaded Commander Urano. I'm the oldest member of Team Rocket. I had the honor of being present at its founding and I hope never to see its fall. This is my membership card. I am number one. Okay. Well, all introductions have been completed. Can you get the heck out of here now? We have a score to settle with Mr. Fuji. With tenacity and perseverance, you will submit to the will of Team Rocket. It's about Project M, right? I'm sorry to tell you that I can't help you. These days, I'm just a Pokemon caretaker. Look, Mr. Fuji, I don't know the details. I prefer Giovanni's boy to take care of all the intellectual parts of the job. I just follow orders and uphold the honor of Team Rocket wherever I go. What about you? You won't stay away, will you? And you think you can beat someone who has been fighting Pokemon battles for over 70 years? So grab your Pokeballs and let's find out. Ooh, and we didn't get healed either. Very well, the Pokemon spirits will witness our duel. Gyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Ooh, we got a good roll on the damage there. Pounce. Ooh, critical hit. Darn, okay. Lemon fainted. Um, let's bring out Cinnamon. I guess Jasper would have actually been even better, but Cinnamon works. Okay, 606 points. Nice. Uh, Kabutops. Yeah, we'll change. Let's bring up Portobello. Four times super effective grass type Giga Drain. Let's go. Oh, you knocked off our le leftovers. That's fine. I don't think we're going to need it. Level 41, so we're literally on par with this guy. Let's see, Heracross. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go for Jasper. I actually, I forgot Heracross is part fighting type. Ha! Huh. Brick break. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, wow. Yep, okay. Jasper was almost up to the next level, too. Let's go, Custard. Aerial Ace. Alright. I love this battle background. It's so pretty. Uh, let's see. Pinsir. No, we'll stay in. Let's go, come and get me. So he's got all bug types. Mega Evolve. Oh, wow. Okay. Mega Pincer. That's interesting. That's deadly. Oh, no. Um. Let's go for Muscle. Just to get some additional, uh. Oh, it failed. What? Oh, it's using Swords Dance. That's not terrifying at all. Okay. Surely Sucker Punch has got to work now. And it did almost nothing. Oof. Hate to admit this, but we may well be in trouble. Okay. Spore. Quick attack, that's not going to do a whole lot. What are you talking about? Quick attack is super effective? I don't know what just happened there. Um, alright. Flamethrower. Gee whiz, that was close. That was way closer than it should have been. My gosh. Yellow has defeated Rocketed, uh, Rocket Executive Urano. That was a fine Pokemon battle, but it won't save you from defeat. Although the pride of a warrior beats in your heart, your aspirations are futile. We have more of Team Rocket waiting outside. We will send as many as necessary to achieve victory. No way! Oh, it's leaf and green. Oh, blue, sorry. Yellow, have you beaten this old man yet? We've taken care of the rest of the Rocket grunts. Even Leaf defeated two by herself. You should have seen it. That wasn't really impressive. They were pretty lame. Ah, the boldness of youth. Everything would be different if I were 40 years younger. You have won this battle, but not the war. Team Rocket is standing down for now. Thank you for freeing Pokemon Tower from the presence of Team Rocket. And as for you, Yellow, you've done a very nice thing helping that Marowak find peace. Please accompany me home. I want to tell you a few things. Okay, so we're here. Can we, uh, let's go heal real f Oh, wait, are we already healed? We are not. Yeah, let's go heal first. I think it was this house here. Yep, here we go. Congratulations, Leaf, you did a thing. Right now, it's better to listen to Mr. Fuji while we remain silent. Don't tell me what to do. You're not even my real dad. Once Mr. Fuji told me that the reason he opened the shelter was to redeem himself for the damage he caused to Pokemon in the past. What could you be referring to? I can't imagine Mr. Fuji hurting anyone. Let's rifle through his garbage. 
Ah, we found a wide lens. Very nice. I'll never understand how anyone is capable of abandoning their Pokemon. It's so unnatural. The bond between a Pokemon and its trainer is supposed to be very deep, even sacred to some cultures. Okay, Mr. Fuji, what you got? Well, kids, you've put in a lot of effort fighting these bad guys, and I think you deserve to know what's going on. Have we ever heard of Mew, the ancient Pokemon? Yes, of course, I know. But it's better for the others to give an answer. I've read about it in a science journal. Mew is an extinct Pokemon and is considered the ancestor of all Pokemon. A few years ago, it was in the news because they found some of its DNA in some ancient ruins, wasn't it? Correct, and I was part of the expedition that found that DNA. That's how it was. Years ago, I was a Pokemon researcher. But the worst came after we found Mew's DNA. Various organizations appeared, including Team Rocket and Self SA, and they gave us large sums of money. We were asked to create an artificial Pokemon from the DNA of Mew, a Pokemon that was the strongest of all. And we succeeded. And we succeeded. We succeeded in creating a creature of incomparable power. I've never seen anything like it, but it was beyond our control. The Pokemon was too strong to submit to human rule. He destroyed the laboratory in which we had been conceived and escaped to hide somewhere remote. Team Rocket, led by Giovanni, is desperately looking for him. Huh? Wait, are you saying that the strongest Pokemon in the world is out there on the loose? It has to be mine. <laughs> Didn't you listen to anything? It's a dangerous Pokemon with uncontrollable power. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you haven't met the right trainer. Also, would you rather it be found by Team Rocket first? I'm telling you all this because it seems that your path keeps crossing that of Team Rocket. Although, if you want my advice, do what Prof, Oak's, Prof Oak asked you and filled those Pokedexes. I don't know how useful this will be for you, but perhaps it will help you achieve this goal. We got the Poke Flute. Nice. Certain Pokemon will wake up to the sound of the Poke Flute. Use it if you need to open the eyes of someone blocking your way. Haha. <laughs> Snorlax. Oh, my friends just ditched me. Um, okay, so he's just saying the same thing. I think from here we can just travel south and meet Snorlax. And maybe catch it, possibly. Route 12. Yep, here we are. Fisherman's Wharf. Let's go find that big boy. And we will come back and get all these optional trainers. Got PP pee up. There he is. You used the Poke Flute. All right, Snorlax, come join the team, buddy. Snorlax is waking up. Let's go. Do we have a quick ball? It's only level 40. Let's see. Pokeball, Ultra Ball, we do have quick balls. Let's give that a shot. Nope, did not work. Ah, just barely. Sleep talk, but it's not asleep yet. Let's try it one more time. Nope. Okay. Snore, but it failed. Well, it's a. Uh... Ooh, Grass Knot should probably do a decent amount of damage. Snorlax is very heavy. It did not do a decent amount of damage, and it has high horsepower, because why wouldn't it have high horsepower? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, let's go for Portobello. I'm gonna put it to sleep. But it's not gonna get any, uh... It's not gonna get any, um, HP back. Alright, um, we will try just an Ultra Ball then, I guess. Nice! We got him! Custom moved to level 42. Jasper moved to level 42. 
We've got data for Snorlax. Snorlax typical day consists of nothing more than eating and sleeping. It is such a docile Pokemon that the children there are children who use its belly as a well, we don't get to see the rest of it. Uh, do you want to give Snorlax a nickname? Yeah, we do. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Sunny. That's my standard Snorlax name. It's in box one. And you know what? Let's just let it happen. Welcome to the world of being an evolved Pokemon, Custard. I guess the name Custard doesn't fit too much anymore because you're not yellow. All right. Well, um, I'm going back to the Pokemon Center. I don't know who, uh, if we want to have Snorlax on the team. I guess we could. I don't know who we would replace, though. Maybe over... Um, yeah, you know what? Our poor little Grim Snarl guy has not really been pulling his weight so much. Let's see. Who else do we have here? I do have a Sentret. Ah, uh, let's see. We got our Rags, the Grievard. Um, we do have this Eevee. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. We're going to go ahead and put Eevee on the team. Because why wouldn't we? Alright, let's fight some of these fisher peoples. Fishing requires patience. It's not something you can do in a hurry. That's true. Oh, she's not a fisherman. She's a fisherwoman. That's, that's new. I don't recall ever having seen uh, female Fisher people in the Pokemon games before. <laughs> Maybe I just missed that that was a thing. Ooh, a Raquinid. My goodness, level 33. Aqua Cutter. Hmm. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Quick attack, all right. It's escaped, darn it. Okay. Let's see this person here. Hey, do you have a water stone by any chance? No, but you can buy one and sell it on city. Or maybe I do actually have a, uh, a water stone now that I think about it. I might. All right, there we go. Star you done. Very cool. First you move to level 26. Nice. Crawdont? No. We will stay in. Discharge again. Is that an Oko? It is an Oko. Very cool. Fisherman Elisa. Things are not that easy. I mean, can I talk to her again and just give her one? I will look for a water stone by myself. I'm sure I'll end up catching one. Oh, okay. You do you, lady. Let's see. This way? Yeah, but what's over here? Nothing. Ooh. Okay. So there's that way we get to the next fishing guru's house, I would assume. And then this way... Ah, that's where the Snorlax was. So that would be heading back towards um, Vermilion City. Okay, Route 12. I guess we'll stop in here. Oh, Golduck, I got one of this. Don't you think Water-type Pokemon are the best in the world by far? My mind cannot conceive of anyone thinking differently from me. Are you also into aquatic Pokemon? If you have one, could you show it to me? Wow, I see you have a nice specimen of a water-type Pokemon. As a reward for good taste, you can keep these leftover balls I had lying around. Ooh, we got some netballs and lure balls. That's cool. I wonder if he's got anything as garbage. Let's go check out the garbage. There's only garbage here. Well, thanks for nothing, mister. Okay. Why, hello there. Patience is not only the mother of all virtues, it is also the key to good fishing. 
and I'm sure the fish don't like that you have it. Gyarados, level 40, oof. All right, let's see if we can get off the discharge first. We should be able to knock it out real fast. Done. Boom, level 42 for lemon. Thunderbolts, uh, let's see, is Thunderbolt better than discharge? Let's see, 90 versus 80. That's like, uh, it can paralyze, but it does affect all Pokemon in the battle which I think uh, is a lot less useful than Thunderbolts. Of course, she moved to level 27. Very cool. Boy, did I lose my patience. You lost your cool. Maybe you should train some Ice-type Pokemon. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, we can't Surf yet. What do we got here? We got TM55 Chilling Water. Okay, that's nice. One, two, one, two. I always take a two-hour walk every morning with my Pokemon. That's probably a good life strategy. I kind of do the same thing with Pokemon Go. Oh, she's got a Vivillon. And we've got a Thunderbolt. Hershey moved up to level 28. Hershey's just jumping up the levels. We'll change Pokemon, though. We're going to go for... Uh, cinnamon. Lion versus deer, just the way it should be. Okay, now I noticed a jump in levels between uh, the top area of the wharf and here. Or she moved to level 29. Or she wants to learn the move charm. No, we're not going to learn charm. We beat Camper Virginia. I've lost the rhythm. I hope my Pokemon will forgive me. I mean, maybe. I don't know. You have to ask him. Let's go ahead and beat uh, this person here. Are you more of a land or sea Pokemon? I think it's obvious in my case. Gastrodon. Okay. Well, we got a Grass Knot. Not bad. Oh, but it cut the speed and mud bomb. Womp womp. Okay. Sorry, Lemon. Portobello it is. Giga Drain. Oh, Rain Dance. Alright, let's go. Or she moved to level 30. Still raining. Nope. Lantern. Giga Drain. Did not do a lot. There we go. Giga Drain should do a bunch. Perfect. Lantern is lost energy. You've ruined my plans. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Let's see, and then what's down here? We got a hyper potion, very good. Let's see, we must be just about at Fuchsia City. Or at least the route that leads to Fuchsia, Fuchsia. Wait a second. What did this, what did it say? We're in what now? Route 12. Marengo Town? That's new. Oh man, I've never heard of that town before. All right. Well, that's cool. I guess we will explore that in the next episode. Hey, I want to thank you so much for joining me this week, trainers. I really do appreciate it. I'm very much looking forward to catching you in the next one. But till then, take care. Bye.